morning to you all students today i am going to teach you chapter 12 data handling and this is video number 1 then do you know that data handling is made up of two words that is data and handling data means any information and handling means gathering recording and presenting data handling simply means sorting and arranging data that you have in a proper and presentful manner so that it is easy to find out any information that you want to find so students let us observe one example in a zoo manish saw five different types of animals lions elephants giraffes leopards and tigers after coming to home he met the following table see name of the animal and number of the animal so here lion 6 elephant 12 giraffe 15 leopard 11 tiger 3 now observe the question and give their respective answer so students let me know how many elephants did he see yes very good he saw 12 elephants now how many lions did he see yes how many lions six very good how many total animals did he see so what we have to do here yes we will add these all animals so six plus 12 So six plus twelve plus fifteen plus eleven plus three means six lion, twelve elephants, fifteen giraffes, eleven leopards, and three tigers. So total animals just counted. So six plus twelve, yes, six plus twelve, eighteen. Eighteen plus fifteen. Yes, add students. Yes, very good. Thirty three. Thirty three plus eleven. Forty four. Forty four plus three. Yes, forty seven. So total animals. How many animals? Yes, total animals. He saw. That is forty seven. Now students, let me know. How many more giraffe did he see than lions? So how many giraffes are there? Yes, fifteen giraffe and lion six. How many lion six? So fifteen minus six. Fifteen minus six. Let me know. Yes, nine. Now. Next question is, which animal did he see in maximum number? Maximum number means the most. Yes. So six, twelve, fifteen, eleven, three. Which one is the greatest here? Yes, fifty. So giraffe. Now next question is, if five tigers are added to the zoo, calculate the number of tigers so how many tigers are there three and how many tigers we have to add yes five so five plus three very good eight so eight tigers how many elephants and leopard are there all together all together see 12 elephants and 11 leopard so add 12 Plus eleven. So twelve plus eleven. Yes, very good. Twenty three. Students, do one question from your maths course book. Checkpoint. Question number two. Observe the colorful dots given below. See, just count and write data represented in that table. so students here the dots are given and you have to count the numbers of dots and 
you have to write here so how many yellow dots are there so count it start counting one two three four five so here we will write five so five yellow dots are there now red how many red dots yes only one so here we will write one now start counting blue dots yes one two three four so four blue dots and green one two three so here we will write three and how many brown dots yes one two so here we will write two now answer the following questions which dot is maximum in number so which one is just see maximum the greatest yes most very good so five one four three two yes five so which dot is maximum in number so here we will write yellow now which dot is minimum in number minimum means least yes so which one is very good red so here we will write red are there any dots which are same in number if yes which are those so any number is same here five one four three two so okay the answer will be no so here we will write no students today i have taught you collection of data now note down your homework So students your homework is worksheet 12.1, 12.2 and 12.3 page number 28, 29, 30. So students you have to do your homework in application book. See 